All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue with our Vancouver Canucks all the way up to the year five. I want to get the simulation started in this video, okay? I've already gone ahead and done some uh, pre-planning for you guys just so we don't waste a lot of time in this video. I was reading your comments from the last video, and it seems like you guys want the Young Guns to play this year, okay? Um, so, you know, I, some of the comments were saying, you know, go for a complete, you know, rebuild again this year, just completely, th completely throw the year away. Um, I'm not willing to do that, all right? I'm not going to say that we're going to, you know, flunk this year just for the sake of it I want to make the playoffs again this year but when you guys say you know try to try to make the playoffs with your young guns you know try to mix them in with some of your older players you know don't trade away the Sedin twins don't trade away Kessler just yet you can trade them away at the end of this year but make sure to play Pulock and Jones and Mackey and Reinhardt just find places for them and try to make the playoffs that way I agree with that I like that plan okay so that's what we're going to do so when it comes to free agency we already have way too many players on our team if we're going to take you know four of our young players and put them in we already have way too many players so there is not a single free agent that i'm interested in we have first second third and fourth liners we don't need anybody uh there's no young rookies out here so we don't need to get anyone there uh goaltender same thing we don't need anybody uh i will sign this three and a half star young prospect goalie though it's always a good idea to get a prospect goalie all right so there you go and I don't think there's any young prospects for forwards, right? You know, well, there's two good guys, but they're already 26 years old. We don't need them. All right, we already have plenty of space on our team. Uh, or we don't have any space on our team, basically, okay? So there you go. Now, second, I have to trade away the players I know I'm not going to be using this year. That's basically the players uh, that only have one year left on their deal. Guys like Dan Hamuse, guys like uh, uh, McCallick, guys that I just signed right now, we're going to use them for one more year and then trade them at next year's draft deadline because I signed them to two years, right? So watch, I'll show you. Uh, Edler's got three years left. He's not going anywhere. The Sedin twins, they're not going anywhere. It's, uh... We, they're retiring with Vancouver. That's the plan, okay? I know you guys were saying trade them before they get worse. I would have traded them in year two if that was the plan, right? Uh, we decided way back when that the Sedin Twins were going to retire on the Vancouver Canucks. So it doesn't matter how how bad they get, they're staying here. Uh, Hamus. All right, so Hamuse, uh, yeah, we're going to be trading him next year. But because he's got more than uh, one year left on his deal, we can afford him for one more year. Same thing with Kessler, all right, all these guys down here. Pulock, he's young, he's staying. Gerby, we can trade him at the end of this year. He's not going to get any worse, all right? Same thing with McCallick. Go down here. But Booth, Booth has only got one year left on his deal. So if I play him this year, then he's either going to have to walk or I'm going to have to sign him and then trade him. And I don't like to sign and trade because that hurts your uh, GM rep. So he's got to go right now, and we don't need him for this year. So so I'm not going to get any players back. I'm not going to look for anything spectacular. I'm just going to find the first team that wants them, that can afford them, and get a uh, first-round pick out of it, okay? So there you go. The Montreal Canadiens. Uh, oh, and they want to give up their first-round pick. Ooh, they might not. That's a pretty good draft pick. Oh, yeah, they did. Sweet. We believe this transaction will contribute to our success here in Montreal, so we are accepting your trade offer. All right, so we got Montreal's first-round pick for David Booth. Pretty good. I may, I may have been able to get a little bit more, but uh, to me, that was good enough. All right, so I'll go down here and just find the guys who got one year left on their deals. Uh, Weiss, I'll, I'll play Weiss this year. That's fine. Uh, there was another defenseman, though, I just signed that I'm not going to need now. Yeah, Falk. All right, so Falk, he's got two years left on his deal. I could trade him, but if he gets worse, I don't want that. Uh, get out of here, phone. Jesus. If he gets worse, I don't want that uh, cap to not being able to uh, be traded, right? So I'm just going to trade him away right now. This may hurt my, uh, uh, what's it called? my uh, reputation a little bit, but whatever. So I'll just take, can I get a first for Falk? Uh, probably not. No, I probably wouldn't be able to get a first. So let's get a second, third, and a fourth for Montreal. Shut up, phone! Jesus. Uh, all right, so here we go. Falk for a second, third, and fourth. Will it go through? Yes, it did. All right, so we got uh, two firsts, two seconds, two thirds, and two fourths for this year. Very nice. So even if it is a bad year, we're going to have uh, some good young players coming into our team. Uh, that was it, right? Okay, what I want to do here is, as well, boys, I just want to clean up the team a little bit. I have way too many players. Uh, I just want to clean it up. Now, I'm going to be making trades that uh, I'm not allowed to be making, but I asked you guys earlier if I can make these trades if I don't get anything back for it, and you guys said yeah. So, like, DDO might, I, I know I could maybe get, like, a fourth or a fifth. I'll just get a seventh, right? A seventh at this time is a two-and-a-half star player. It's nothing, and I'm not going to be using that seventh again in a trade. So, it's just... I I just want to clean up my team so I don't have to do the AHL lines, okay? So, Didiomite for a 7th. There you go. Yeah, I almost feel guilty. 
they these are trades that I shouldn't be making, so I need to make sure that they're in the favor of the team that I'm giving them to. Uh, six, you know, we'll try to find another team just so I take another seventh. There you go, seventh. All right, there you go. He almost feels guilty. Yeah, this is just uh, this is just cleanup right now, boys. Gerber and Patterson. Let me just get get rid of these guys. Give me a seventh. There you go. Yep, take that player from me. And uh, Malhotra LaRose. And that's about it. Yeah, I can I can hold on to everybody else. Yeah, goalies. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, so let's simulate up until year five, get the lines done, and uh, start year five. I want to get at least one month of simulating done in this video, okay? But I do have some line changes to make. Uh, so we got that goalie. We got to think about what lines we want, okay? So while it's simulating, yeah. All right, so we know the first line is going to be the two Sedin twins and Jonathan drew in. That, that friggin' line was lights out last year. We're going to use it again. Now, line two is where it gets interesting. Um, we're going to use Bo Bennett on the second line left wing this year. Uh, he may turn out to be a career third line sniper for us, which isn't a bad thing. But I think he's like 24 years old now, and he's still only like 80. 3 or 82 overall, so I want to give him this year to see if he gets better, because if he wraps up at 84, 85 overall, that's a perfect second line center, right? I mean a uh, second line sniper. Our first line sniper is Jonathan Drewin, so I would like to have that second line sniper. We don't have any young prospects that are snipers other than Tarky and Jensen, but uh, those guys are still you know, 3 or 4 years away from being at Bo Bennett's uh, overall. I'm Well, maybe it might be earlier, but I'm just, I'm hoping that Bo Bennett can hold it off for those guys, right? Um, as the center, I think I want to go with Ryan Kessler with Bo Bennett. And then the right wing, that's the interesting one, right? Do we play Gerby on the second line right wing and then put Mackey and Reinhardt on the third line to have two playmakers on the third line, which wouldn't be a bad thing. I don't I don't care about having two playmakers. Or do we want young, one of those young guns to play on the second line uh, with Kessler and Bennett and then put Gerby on the third line with the other young prospect in the center, right? Because Reinhardt are, uh, and Mackey are both centers. Um, so that's what I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do here. All right, because again, I know I agree with you guys. We should play our young guns, but I want to make the playoffs still. So, say if we just load up our top six with all our young guns, that's going to hurt our simulation. I still want to use our better players, but just put them alongside of a Ryan Pulock, put them alongside of a Seth Jones, right? Help the the lines out basically. I don't want to put two rookies on the same line. That's just going to hurt us. All right, so I got to figure out what we're going to do here. Got to figure it out. Uh, yeah, alright, so yeah, fifth year of the uh, Vancouver Canucks, he wants 51 wins this year, yeah, that's not gonna happen, Jesus, alright, oh man, 51, you win uh, 51 wins is way too much, alright, so let's do this, uh, contracts, roster moves, so I already have a pretty good idea who, who I want to use this year, it's gonna be Clint Windsor and Cousineau, 3-1 loss ratio, alright, we want to use Clint Windsor this year so he gets as good as he can get, uh, all right, so Pulock and Jones, get your asses up here. Uh, Subban, he's not going to be used. We're not going to use uh, Jordan Subban, okay? Now, when it comes to defensemen, we got Edler, Hamuse, Tanev, McCallick, Fistrick, we don't need. All right, Murphy, we don't need. It's just going to be Jones and Pulock, all right? So there's our six. Edler, Hamuse, Tanev, McCallick, Pulock, and Jones, okay? Not bad, not bad. And forwards, we want Drew in. We want Reinhardt. Uh, we don't want Jensen and Tarky, okay? Uh, Jensen and Tarky, they would be a lot better being the first liners in the AHL this year, okay? Um, there's no room for them on our team unless we scratch guys like Kessler and the Sedin Twins. These guys are going to be taking over for when Kessler and the Sedin Twins and Gerby are gone, right? So uh, I think they would be much better off in the AHL getting first line time alongside of Renas, right? So we can just put the first line Jensen, Tarky, and Renas all together, even though Though none of them are centers. We'll just put them all together. Okay. Uh, now, who can we send down? We don't need Gaunts up here. Uh, LaRose, Hansen. I think we have too many players. Hang on. Let me just see best lines. How many players do we have extra? One, two. So we have two players, too many. Uh, I want Reinhardt in there, so he's got to replace somebody. I don't need Malhotra. No, Peverly can be the fourth line center. Sorry, boys. I'm talking like a mile a minute right here. It's all in my head. Uh, LaRose. Yeah, LaRose can be the one who's scratched. Okay. So, when it comes to forwards, I will scratch Malhotra, and I will scratch Little Rose, and that should be it. Yeah. All right. So, we got our NHL team sorted out. Now, we just got to go line changes. So, we're going to do the same thing that we did last year, the Sedin Twins and Jonathan Drew in. Right? There's uh, nothing special there. We got Bo Bennett with Ryan Kessler. Now, here's the thing. We got to figure this out. Right? Hang on. Let me just set up my fourth line. Yeah. 
All right, so it could be Bo Bennett, Kessler, and uh, Gerby, and then two rookies, Reinhardt and Mackey and Cassian on the third line. Or we could get Mackey up here. Uh, who's better at faceoffs, Reinhardt or Mackey? Reinhardt's got 60. I think Mackey's got better, 68 or 69. Uh, maybe we should put – how good was Sam Reinhardt offensively? Was he good to go? Uh, all right, decent shot. I think Mackey's got the better shot, though. Oh, yeah, Mackey's got a much better shot. Just trying to think how I should even it out. No, you know what? That's what I'll do. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that for right now. Just because Mackey is better, I'll put him on the third line center because he can hold it down a little bit better uh, with Gerby and Cassian. And then Reinhardt on a line alongside of Kessler and Bennett. And hopefully Kessler and Bennett can bring Reinhardt up a little bit, right? So now on the third line, we got two 83s and an 85. And uh, you know what? The third line looks better than the second line now. No, I can't do that. Uh, I can't do that. I gotta go Mackey on the second line. Yeah, that would be better. Because then the third line would take over for the second line. So you got Bo Bennett, Kessler, and Mackey in 83 and 86 and an 82. 85, 83, and a 79. Yeah, the second line is definitely better now. Uh, Alright, so Reinhardt in the middle of Gerby and Cassian, and then Peverly, uh, Weiss, and Hansen. Alright, yeah, I like those lines. So, again, we're only going to go one month into the simulation, and then you guys can help me out with the uh, line changes. But for right now, that's what we're going to do. Now, defensively. All right, so I'm going to try something crazy here, okay? I don't want to have Jones and Pulock on the same line, so i got to shake it up. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is Edler's going to be the first liner with uh, Ryan Pulock, okay? The reason I'm going to do that is because Pulock, he's not the greatest defensively, but he's actually not horrible offensively. Uh, offensive awareness of 84, passing of 85. He may be able to get some points on that first line, okay? Uh, now, if, we, if we're if we playing like shit, I will do best lines and take him out of there. But for right now, I'm going to put him on the first line. Now, Dan Hamus, I do not want on the third line, just because... Uh, we signed him to a two-year deal. I want him to stay at least an 84 overall so I can trade him next year, okay? Same thing with Zenon McCallick. Uh, but, uh, not Zenon McCallick. I don't even know how to pronounce his first name. Never mind. Um, oof, who do I want? I don't want to put Jones or Hamus. No, no, I got to leave Jones on the third line down here, all right? Alongside of McCallick. And then we'll leave Tanev and Hamus, Edler and Pulock. All right, you know what? You know what? Instead, I'm going to go Tanev and Edler. Tanev's earned that first line time. And then Hamus and Pulock. And then Jones and McCallick. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right. Uh, now, for power play, I'm going to put uh, Hamus and take off McCallick. He's defensive and put uh, Pulock. Jones doesn't get power play time. He's not He's not good offensively yet. All right. So we're not even going to try that. Uh, Sedin Twins and Jonathan Druin. Mackey, Bennett, and Gerby at saying instead of Kessler. No, I want to see what Kessler can do this year. All right. Center Kessler with uh, Bo Bennett and Mackey. Very nice. Four-man power play. Sedin Twins, Mackey, and uh, Druin I'll put in there. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And uh, Hamus instead put Pulock. Very nicely done. Penalty kill. Uh, you know what? I'll leave the penalty kill the way it is right now. Right? They don't have Seth Jones on the penalty kill, but you know what? The penalty kill is a very – our penalty kill was horrible last year, so let's leave it the way it is, right? Uh, yeah, there you go. So I know the only time right now that Jones is getting is third line time, but you know what? You know what? I'll put him on the uh, penalty. <sighs> no, I don't want to put him on the penalty kill. And I don't want to put him on the power play either. No, sorry, boys. Uh, you guys can maybe give me some suggestions where else I could put Jones, but, uh, no, I want to just, I, I don't want to put him anywhere else. I still want to make the playoffs this year, okay? That's the thing. Uh, yeah, so I like our lines right now. Best lines for Chicago. Who's not starting? Uh, Carlson, Hosang, uh, Ulrich. All right. You know what? I have too many players down here. You know what? Hang on one second here. I think I have way too many players that I don't need on my team. Let's see if I can do a little bit more, um, what's it called? Uh, t -t 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 come on. Uh, <laughs> I can't even think of the word I'm looking for. Uh, I'm just going to clean up my roster a little bit. What was the uh, trade values of these players? No, I can... Hanson. I got to hold on all those players. No, 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 I got to hold on to all those players. What I can do is, hang on one second, what I can do, roster moves, I can easily bring up the players I don't want playing in the minors. Uh, so give me a list of players who have no potential. Malhotra, yeah, you don't need to be playing in the minors. You can come up to the NHL team. You can be like a cheerleader for us. Uh, Rhodes, yeah, you don't need to be playing down there. And Fistrick, you don't need to be playing down there. All right? It may help, help out the team, but I have too many young rookies now. I want them to be playing. 
Uh, so Chicago, if I go best lines again, I don't think there will be anybody scratched now. Yeah, so everyone on Chicago is playing now. So that's why I brought up those players. So my first line, it's simple. Jensen, Tarky on the wings, and Renas right in the middle. All right. Uh, Ulrich, Carlson. Yeah, all these guys down here can come up. And Hosang on the second line. All right. Uh, just keep going. Tarky, Jenes, and uh, Re yeah, Renas. Get in here. Jenes, Jensen. There you go, Renas. And uh, we'll leave everything else the same. Perfect. Okay, so we got our line changes made. Again, these are not set in stone. You guys can help me out if you see anything that's uh, a problem. But I want to do one month of simulating just to see what happens. And uh, we'll check out the individual stats. We'll do all that good stuff. And then you guys can give me uh, your opinions, okay? So let's get this season started. Scouting reports. A few top five players there. A bunch of two-way forwards from the WHL. Jesus, they're all from the WHL. All right, so we'll go forwards to the WHL. There you go. Six weeks. Beautiful. Very nice. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything covered. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I turned that off in the last uh, video. Injuries. Woo, thank God. All right, so there you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are good to go now. Uh, all right, so I want to give you guys basically the plans of my uh, of our season here. I've set some benchmarks just so um, I can automatically keep track of my team and make changes based on the uh, the benchmark that I set right now. All right, I want to be a playoff team. Okay, so I'm going to be making changes to be a playoff team. If we are falling way below 500, I will be taking out those rookies, not taking them off the team, but taking them out of the main positions and putting them on the third and fourth lines. Okay, that's just the way it's going to be. Okay. I want to make the playoffs this year because if we can make the playoffs and then play those young guns in playoff games Even if it's on the third and fourth line. Hey, that's some experience as well So basically an early benchmark we're gonna set for ourselves is the 15 loss ratio All right, um, and 15 regulation losses when we get to 15 regulation losses, I want to be like a good five games above 500 at least, okay? If we're, you know, 9 and 15, definitely something needs to be changed. If we're 14 and 15, something needs to be changed. By the time we get to 15 regulation losses, I want to be at least 20 wins. So it's 20, 15, and 3 or something like that, right? So that's what we're going to keep ourselves to, the 15 loss ratio, all right? So let's see what it happens here. We're going to start it up. Now we're going to go a 3 to 1 loss ratio with uh, Clint Windsor. I think I already said that. Yeah. We're going to go 3-1 to one loss ratio with him. And look at that. We start the year with a 4-3 to three loss. That's great. Come on now, boys. I want to score some goals this year. All right. And is it going to be the same old, same old where uh, Clint Windsor is not really a starting goalie just yet? Where it's uh, the fact that we let in way too many goals. And that's the problem. We're going to have to wait and see here. The season's young. I, I think we're going to be able to score some goals with this team, man. I, I, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. I mean, last year, the first line was a point a game, and now this year, Jonathan Druin is better, right? Jonathan Druin is a lot better. So there's no excuse why that first line can't get more points. Um, other than that, I mean, I can't, I can't tell if the second line is better than uh, last year or not. You know, Booth... Could make the argument that he is better than uh, Reinhardt or Mackey right now, so I don't know. Is that three losses? Yeah, that's three losses. Two of them being overtime losses, so that is semi good. All right, but we're gonna go to Kusino, three to one loss ratio. All right, just give uh, Clint Windsor a little bit of a break there. So Kusino, get in here. All right, we only have a few more games before the end of the month. Only going one month in this video, boys. Don't worry, we're not gonna go too far ahead. At least we got some wins there. I'm not starting off like 0 and 7 or something. That's something to be happy about. Kusino comes in, he gets a loss, don't worry about that, Windsor's going right back in there, alright, so Clint, I need you to play like Eastwood, I need you to play like Eastwood this whole year, alright, so Jonathan Druin's already off to a great start, same thing with Hank Sedin, so uh, it looks like that first line is getting goals for us, but there you go, two losses in a row, and we're right back to 3-3-2, three, three, and two. ugh, come on boys, I want to see some goals now, man, we're letting in way too many goals, yeah, I mean, four goals against, five goals against, four goals against... It's our goalie, and I think it's Seth Jones and Pulock on the point, boys. I think it's P yeah, Pulock and Jones on the point. All right, last year we had a much better defensive core in Fistrick and Falk being up there instead of 260 overall defensemen. Uh, scouting assignment. But you guys said you want the Young Guns to be playing. I'm going to do my best to try and win us games with the Young Guns. I'm not just going to send them down to the minors. All right, because, I mean, we know what happens with this team uh, when we do that. It's just an AHL or uh, first-round loss anyways. Uh, I think I got one more loss, and then I gotta go. I gotta go back to Cousineau. You know, I think I might just finish this month with uh, Clint Windsor. Whatever happens, yeah, let's just finish the month. Uh, nah, nah, nah. We'll just go back to Clint Windsor. So we started off pretty good. What was it, three, one, and two? And now we haven't won a game since that. And now we're three, five, and three. All right. So yeah. 
I don't know, boys. I don't think it's a winnable season if we play our young guns. Like, I think Reinhardt, Mackey, and maybe Pulak you could get away with, right? Maybe one bad defenseman out of five. But we have two bad defensemen out of six, right? Like, it's just... Ugh. It's not, it's, it's too many bad players on the team. Jones really brings it down, boys. I mean, he just, he can't be out there for anything. We're going to check out the individual stats after this. I guarantee you it's goals against that's killing us. We're letting in way too many goals. All right. That's why last year I went out and got, uh, uh, what was it? Falk and Fris, uh, Fistrick, try and get defensive defensemen kind of to really help out your goaltender situation. Oh, three, six, and three, man, horrible. Oof, three, seven, and three. So we were three, one, and two, and then we went, went uh, six and uh, oh, six and one since then. All right, boys. So I mean, we, I knew this was going to happen, right? We only have ourselves to blame. I mean, I know this was going to happen with the team that we have out there. But again, you guys wanted it, so we're gonna have to try and figure out a way to make it work. Uh, goals four per game. Let's see. Uh, 19th, uh, 19th in the NHL. So we're not scoring that many goals either. I think we started off scoring goals. But we kind of shriveled up. Vancouver, yeah, we're scoring enough goals. That'll go up. Don't worry. That'll go up. Goals against per game. That's the reason right there. 3.23. We're letting in way, way too many goals. Uh, power play percentage, 13.7. So it could be a bit better. Uh, it could be a lot better. Sorry. And penalty kill, 25th in the league. 73.5. Uh, all right. Absolutely horrible. So, yeah, everything's not working right now. 0-1-1 one one at home. 3-6-2 on the road. Okay. So, last but not least, let's check out the player's stats and let's see who is doing good for us and who's not doing good. I guarantee you Seth Jones is like a minus 20. I guarantee you, all right? Him and who was it? McCallick? They're probably minus 20s. All right, so let's see here. Forwards. All right, so Sedin, yeah. So the Sedin twins and Druin, they're doing their job. I have no problem whatsoever with that uh, with that second line or that first line. Now, the second line, who was it? Kessler, Mackey, and Bennett. All right, so Bennett... Yeah, Bennett, Kessler, and Mackey, they ain't getting it done. Three points, four points. I mean, Sam Reinhardt, Gerby, and uh, Cassian on the third line, you could say, are getting more done. So we got to figure out our second line. Maybe we should go, boys, I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe we should go Kessler, Gerby, and uh, what's his name? And uh, Cassian, and just load up with your best players there. And then put Mackey, uh, Bennett, and Reinhardt on the third line as a young rookie third line. You know what I mean? So that is something that we can maybe uh, change. Who's minus on our team? Everyone's minus. Yeah. You know, the third line are plus players. The second line are uh, minus players. So, yeah, the second line's not getting it done. Uh, defense. Let's see. Points. Uh, Hamus, Edler, Tana, Pulak. Yeah, Jones is down there with zero points in 13 games. But he is a plus one. All right, take that back. He's a plus one. He's not on the power play. He's not on the penalty kill. So McCallick and Jones, when they're out there, they're actually not letting the puck in the net. It's Pulak and Tanev that are letting the puck in the net. All right, so I take that back, Jonesy. I take that back. And goalie, Clint Windsor, 2.99, and one Yeah, I think it's our penalty kill. And if we can maybe work out our second line and our second line uh, defensive core... That may shake it up a little bit. So, you know what? It's not horrible just yet. I'm not going to just throw us under the bus just yet, okay? Uh, I think maybe we should lo load up that second line and put our rookies on the third line and maybe shake up the power play and penalty kill a little bit. Uh, but other than that, you know what? I think we can leave Jones and McCallick together and maybe shake up, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We got to figure out, we got to figure out something to do. All right, boys. So I'm going to leave it right there. Let me know what we should do with the Vancouver Canucks and I will see you guys in the next video.